What's up, future fighters? We are back. Looking forward to getting back into the game, but first, we are going to fix some codes. So, we made a great discovery in the last video, and you can see that in the uh, Making a Future Fighter playlist on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you need to get there, go to docbrockgames.com. And we actually, we, we made a switch statement here, which was really fun to do. However, we don't need it. <laughs> we found a way to not go backwards, and that's kind of one of my cardinal rules is at all p points, if at all possible, I try and not go back and redo code. So what we have here are uh, another, uh, some, some move settings is what we have. And instead of going back and redoing every script that assigns a move, which we went through in the initial videos for today, so you can go back and watch those. Um, I think this is the sixth video from today, so uh, start with go back five videos, uh, and you can watch those. But anyway, or I guess six videos if you're counting this one. However you count, it's fine with me. <laughs> but we can consolidate this. This is going to be great. So. Um, First of all, we're going to need this this code, and then we're going to need a new script, and uh, call this script uh, move variables. And um, side by side so you guys can see everything that I'm doing here. And this is just the way I like to to set up my my scripts. Um, so and this is where things are going to get really really interesting is how we're going to be making these assignments and what arguments we're going to be doing. And we can we pulled that from that script, which is great. That's the base script for choosing a move. And then that move, uh, and then that script was actually, this was actually part of that script. And you can see it has a hard assignment, which is cool. So um, something we might be thinking about then is the first argument maybe look something like this and and we make that a and we make that a setting um, of what we want that to be which is which is cool so in that case this would take the form of that, and so we could have several move variables that could be that could be set. That's one way to do it. We could set it by script type. We could, you know, have certain variables be set in certain ways. Um, we're gonna go with this for right now, though, because this is coming up a new variable which we have not created yet for the AI. So that's actually coming up and that'll work that'll work really well. Uh, we'll have to make some definitely have to make some assignments but that's okay. That's what we're doing this for. But before we add that let's get this working this transition working properly and then we'll go from there. So what we're gonna do is in all the places where we would have been uh, setting these manually. Sorry, I'm putting semicolons in for my comments. I've been working in auto hotkey a lot lately, <laughs> and that's how you comment there. So I always try to put this below. So let's, it's kind of a chronological order, so to speak. This was this was this kind of thing, and moving down. 
is uh, in chronology. So that takes care of that. And then we've got a few more. So I just want to move some scripts around. We've got choose block. Looks like that one's a random. Look at me. I'm still in auto hotkey. <laughs> That's fun. And then one more. Ah, very interesting. So uh, you don't need to make the assignment here because it's accounted for here, S that, which is good, which is good. Um, and then, however, you are making the assignment here. So, it's okay, it'll, it'll, you'll have an override statement in choose block it'll it'll take over but what you can do is you can have a have a default here and this will make a default setting and you can override it underneath of it but at least for for this you'll get a default setting for all of these, which is what this accomplished in the first place. So that's great. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure I have accounted for all of the places where that exists as well. So we're just looking for assignments. That is an assignment, but that's the initialization of the variable. Um, so there's an assignment. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's save our code and let's re export all of the AI scripts. And let's open those back up. And now let's look for it because we'll see the comments as well. So there's the initialization, that was just a comment. Uh, here is the commented out code. We've accounted for it. That's just an AI message, AI message, not assignment, not assignment. There it is. It's commented out. There it is, commented out. And of course, here we don't want to comment it out because that's actually the assignment. Now, now let's go through, and here's script move variable underneath. It's just AI messages, script move variables, AI messages, script move variables. Now here it's commented out, but it's. Uh, implemented let's see here right here so we're good to go that's the last one okay so we did it now now we have to make the uh, assignments in the script itself. We have to make the arguments known in the script itself, which is important. Otherwise, you're going to have um, an error thrown because the game maker is going to be expecting arguments and it's not going to have one, right? It's expecting this argument and it's not going to have one in the current script because it's not assigned. Uh, so let's just make sure I did. All four of those. Yep, I did. Sorry, I've got it on another window there. I'm just making sure I got all the 
places aside. So now what we have to do is we have to go through all of the places these four scripts are used and we have to um, we have to make the arguments correctly. So we're going to start with uh, the main let's see here. We're going to start with the main code, which is choose move. This is the first one. So it already has an argument here. Um, zero minus one to kick to script A minus two. Okay, so the second one is going to be follow through last input. That's just going to be done up front. And then that argument in this script is going to go there. And it's going to get passed through. So this is pretty cool. And then we have, and you can see the advantage now, because now we're going to have one place um, right here where we can make all these assignments and anytime we add a new control for one of our move choosing scripts boom it just goes in one place so this is this is pretty sweet this uh, achieves exactly what we're trying to do without having to rewrite anything so very cool we're just passing arguments right now so here to here that's good. That's argument one. Okay. Move that over there. Just write myself some notes for this video. And um, speaking of which, <laughs> if you like these videos, Go to docbrockgames.com and check out the alpha version of the game. You can see the features. You can see the two characters in the game currently that are in the game. You can flip through some screenshots, which will show you some cool features of the game. And also, most importantly, put your email address at the bottom so I can notify you when the game comes out. Then come back, and we're going to learn more about passing arguments in Game Maker. I'll see you then.